Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is December 30th and Barrel is coming to the Lavrunda Relay on Mercury. I hope everybody has had a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. It's almost the end of 2022 for the new year. Things have been super busy for me lately, but don't worry. I still got plenty more videos coming. Expect a new Zaku and Revenant video later today. But for now, Barrel is here. Hello. Let's see what May he I has in store. My latest collection of Masker's Theodolite Crew Suit. Well, this seems like room. he's really coming to complete the entire Theodolite's collection. If you've been picking up the other parts, which include the helmet on his previous visit, this is the chess piece to go alongside it. I actually like how this looks quite a bit. Probably a good pickup. I don't know if I'd run it with a helmet myself, but the textures here are pretty nifty. We have Prime Tabby Trauma. This is super niche. I wouldn't normally recommend it. I mean, if you run it on Baruch, since only the impact part of the Serene Storm is converted into the weakness type element with Reactive Storm Augment, this would convert all of the impacts to it as well if you run Prime Heavy Trauma. But, I mean... You can just build Viral, and it already gives you Force Proc Viral since you have well over 100% status chance and main weight Viral. So it's it's really not needed. Prisma Koi Sentinel Tail. That's what it looks like. All it is. We are at a Prova Vandal. This is heavily outdated these days. Basically a... I think this is considered a... Is it a machete? I'm not too sure, but it's a very outdated piece of tech. It's a good fashion piece as well as a historical weapon, I guess, for the Warframe universe. But it is definitely no longer relevant in the current meta. Its augment is also doesn't even work properly and is significantly worse than how it should be. So it is just MR fodder, unfortunately. We have a Quanta Vandal. This is a decent weapon. Pure electric. Scary amounts of pure electric. And it's a beam. Sky high status and can still crit fairly well. This is a solid weapon. While it is not meta, it is very, very good. And I would recommend picking it up and trying it out. It's very fun. It even has an explosive, I, I think from what I recall, alt fire, where it shoots cubes out. And there are some pretty interesting synergies you can do with this. So, well, you'll only know if you pick it up. Am I right? We even have a Barracotir Glyph here, if that's your taste. Look at that smirk he has on his face, knowing that you're buying his overpriced goods. We have a Katir Solo earpiece that doesn't really show that well here, but that's what it looks like. Hydroid Immortal Skin, if you, for some reason, play Hydroid, and you like the Immortal Skin, well, you can pick this one up. We also have a Katir Diax Sign Dana, just a different recolor of a typical that he usually brings. Quanta Ophaeus skin that you can run on the Vandal if you so choose. And then we have a three day resource booster for those of you that don't have platinum to spare or don't farm uh, stuff up to sell off and trade for platinum. Well, now you can stock up on three day resource boosters with just ducats and uh, credits if you, well, if you're willing to grind this way. Honestly, I would say just trade for plat and buy the 30-day booster. It's a way better deal. Prisma Companion Poster. You can you can set this up in your orbiter if you like. It's a pretty cool showpiece. We have our Prisma Lotus Glyph. It looks like that. Machete a Psychid Skin. Grab it if you want. It's, it's a nice-looking piece, but it's also a little bit odd. Like, it's not exactly obvious what it's supposed to be. Maybe it's just a scythe for, I don't know, when you're farming for hay in the fields. That was the initial impression got out of it. You got your Vad Luxum ornaments for your orbiter that you can place more decoration. Split flights, grab this. There's no other way to get this mod. It's a little bit niche, but it has some very strong uses. Such as, if you look up my DiQ Gas AoE build this was strongly recommended for it to turn the daiku into an aoe weapon back then as well as being useful on a cernos prime because the accuracy penalty actually turns the vertical spread into perfectly horizontal at head level so you basically get the horizontal spread on the vertical version and get the massive multi-shot buff that stacks up to 400 percent prime Fulmination, nation mandatory mod i shouldn't have to say this it fits on stuff like epitaph spore lacer I can't think of others right now, but grab this. It's extremely important. You have your whole Mulciper armor set collection returning once again. The shoulder plate, knee plates, and the chest plate if it's to your taste. 
We have our class of 10 zero poster that you can set up in your orbiter too if you like. Lunar renewal tiger emblem, it looks like this, even though Lunar New Year's in late February, so it's a bit off time. Or this reified statue from the new war if you want to uh, place this in your orbiter's decoration too. Cartier Solstice sign Dana. This is a nicer version of this type of model, but again, I'm not that fond of the shape. It's up to you if you want to pick it up or not. We got our Cookie Cavat glyph for the holidays as well as the Cookie Kubro glyph and then we have our winter crest sign dana once again returning for another visit this is another really nice one it has an interesting texture i'm not sure how i feel about the shape of this classically used sign dana that's a little bit overused but the cloth itself is really really well made we have our fate path ephemera that's always around and then our sands of anaros blueprint for his quest if you have not done so already and as a reminder if you show up with anaros prime you'll gain access to a extra lost signal item that leads to a separate quest again exclusive to Naros Prime. And that's it for what Barrel brought this week. Hopefully something was to your taste. As always, it is unified on console now with PC, so you should be seeing the exact same things over there. I wish everybody a happy holidays and Merry Christmas, as well as a fantastic new year into 2023. Feel free to leave a like, or better yet, subscribe. It always helps the channel, and I'll see you all next time.